Hey guys, it's your nerdy cinnamon roll pal dogs and cats roll here. Today's video is basically just a top five countdown list of warrior cats that I felt deserved to go to the Dark Forest but somehow ended up in Star Clan. <laughs> the questions about why they're placed in Star Clan are endless, so I guess I'll just continue. As stated in information, this is just my opinion. I truly don't mean to offend anyone. And all these small rants that'll be in the video are just my opinion and it's probably just kind of silly and I apologize because being rude or mean is the last thing I'd want to do. I just thought it'd be a fun creative idea to do a top 10 slash 5 countdown fandom list with my own commentation. Um, so with that all the way, hope you like the video. Okay, the second runner-up is Ragged Star. The reason I think this, as I will explain, for one, he was incredibly selfish, manipulative, neglectful, and emotionally abusive to Yellowfang whenever he couldn't get his mouse brain way. Or, that's the worry cat way of calling someone stupid. <laughs> He'd rather degrade and belittle Yellowfang repeatedly instead of doing what was actually best for his clan. And he even forbid and separated her from their kitten because her special gift forced her to be a medicine cat against her own will instead of any showing any lack of understanding or support, which is quite um quite a jerky move there. He even refused to realize how his special treatment and never-ending acceptance to his son's vicious and bloodthirsty ways just so he could laugh it all in Yellowfang's face, which ironically only ended in his own death. So I guess he got what he deserved? Our first runner-up is, well, one star. Anywho, the reason I chose one star as the runner-up is one, the, one of the major things that I found was completely heartless was when he refused to share hers with Shadow Clan, when Shadow Clan's members were literally all dying to death from a sickness, and plus refusing to help another clan as well as not share herbs because clans must still live on together. That just broke two warrior codes, and he didn't give a hey because he's just that way. He's stinking one star. Oh, pardon me. Uh, he points. He pointlessly shot out irrational accusations to every other cat around him, especially to the other clans, like he was five times better than everyone else once he became leader. The thing I hated most was when he attacked Thunder Clan in their camp just to take away their entire territory without even the slightest bit of regret, nor, or sorry, or only breaking plus without any regret of breaking another one of the warrior codes. Showing how selfish, cruel, and all-around sadistic of a clan leader with no sense of empathy or rule following besides ensuring that everyone else follows his own rules. That is one star. Like I said, before as a warrior, he was a really nice, thoughtful, and well-respected cat that many in the fandom loved and appreciated. But then, when he became a leader, he seemed to forget all his understanding of rationality because he couldn't accept what he did in the past, and he wanted to become more, show his clan that he's not weak, but instead, he just showed how much of a, um, jerk he could be. He literally just decided to put all his anger on the cats around him without a care in the world. Just, I don't even... It's inexcusable. I understand Dark Tail and a secret mate from another clan. He didn't feel worthy of a leader. That makes sense. But changing it into that, I feel, is pointless. But anywho, he is so pointlessly stubborn and judgmental that he won't open his ears to anything anyone else had to say, thinking he was an all-great powerful being compared to everyone else. And if anyone was slightly against him, he decided that the they either respect him, or they were dead to him. He honestly reminds me of a certain person I know, but, um, <clears throat> I, I'll stop there, that statement, because I don't want to get into polit politics, so, um, anywho. Okay, 
now that we got through the runner-ups, we can start with the actual countdown. Not saying that the runner-ups didn't count, but they were just runner-ups for the top five countdown. <laughs> Anywho, so basically, number five is, well, Apple Dusk. Let's say the reasons why I think Apple Dusk deserved to go Dark Forest. Well, first, Apple Dusk cheated not only in his cur on his current mate in River Clan, but he also cheated and used his secret mate Maple Shade for his own advantages. When Thunder Clan found out that Maple Shade mated with the rival and rival clan cat and threatened to kill her three month old kittens unless she left the Thunder Clan and never went back. It forced me, poor Maple Shade, and their kit, and her, and their kids to try and cross a river and through rush, through in rushing water season, just to be in safety with Apple Dusk and River Clan, because they had nowhere else to go. Wind Clan, Shadow Clan wouldn't accept them, and at the time, the kitty pets were a lot more vicious. So the only place she had was that River Clan. That was her last hope. The winter three kits ended up drowning. Maple Shade literally risked her life trying to save them, almost drowning herself in the process. Aldusk ended up saving her, but he immediately blamed and yelled and degraded Maple Shade for their kits drowning when it wasn't her fault at all. While Maple Shade was horrified and deep in remorse about her own kits dying and finding out that Aldusk had cheated on her with um what was it? Reed, Reed Shine? I think that's her name, Reed Shine. Applesauce decided to do something even worse, to only add insult to injury. Wanting to escape his own punishment, he decided to blame it all on Maple Shade and say that he never loved Maple Shade or their kits right in front of their both of their dead kits, motionless corpses. There you go, Apple Dusk. Worst father of the year. Really, sarcastic cl clapping cannot intensify any more than I am than right at the moment. And it even made Mabel say not able to say a last goodbye. He forced her, his actions of blaming it all on her, forced the River Clan to refuse to even say goodbye to her dead kids' bodies. Honestly, after the selfish and manipula mani manipulative horrors he cast it upon Maple Shade, he honestly deserves his death and should have went to the Dark Forest. This time, it's not just me saying. I mean, come on. Apple Dust deserved to go to the Dark Forest more than Maple Shade. Okay, for number four, we have Lizard Stripe. Broken Kit's foster mom. Lizard Stripe is honestly tied for being the absolute worst mom, in my opinion. She had the heartlessness and the audacity to mistreat and abuse her foster kit, Broken Kit. She constantly degraded everything Broken Kit tried to do since she was grudging, since, since she grudgingly adopted him, and she constantly mistreated and mis cruelly mistreated. Okay, sorry. Her constant mistreatment and cruelty taught Broken Kit that it was okay to belittle, trick, and hurt cats to get his, way, his own way, turning Broken Kit to a sadistic, merciless, insensitive, violent, bloodthirsty, callous cat he is today. Or was, since he died but later in the book series. Not to mention she allowed and even a mur encouraged her own kits to mistreat and bully Bro Broken Kit. She put all her anger and frustration onto Broken Kit by biting, hissing, and hissing at her repeatedly, and worst of all, she malnourished and deprived him from drinking milk and gave most of her milk to her other kits. I mean, if that isn't a horrible mother, I don't know what. Number three is Ashfur, which people have probably guessed would be on this list, especially if you read Power of Three. I'll be honest, though. I might have felt bad for Ashfur in the new Prophecy series and preferred him to be with Squirrel Fight than Brambleclaw, but, well, Brambleclaw now, but all that did was demolished 
when I started reading Power 3 series and found out that he was the Cat and Thunder Clan that helped Hawksaw try to kill Firestar, which was his own clan leader. I mean, I understand the heartache of being friend zone. Trust me, that happened to me a lot of times on multiple occasions. But his actions were entirely uncalled for and inexcusable. But sure, a minor problem is not being able to be made to squirrel fight. What really made me entirely distressed him at first was when he started having a tr train fight with Lion Blaze, or Lion Paw at the time, who was Squirrel Fight's adopted son. And while yes, Lion Paw was literally itching for a fight, Ashford literally viciously attacked him, almost like he was going to kill him. And he only stopped when the other clanmates started noticing him, and then he acted like nothing happened to manipulate most of the entirety of Thunder Clan members. So of course, the worst thing he's done is what he's most known for in the fandom was trying to bring Squirrel Fight's three adopted kids alive by trapping them in a fire from when incoming flames were surrounding them. All just to make Squirrel Fight feel the quote unquote same pain he felt. Which, okay, that that's a bit borderline. It's past understanding what he's gone through. It, no, throw it out the window. It's, 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 it's inexcusable. It's illogical. It's exaggerated. But anywho. To make it worse, Aaron Hunters has stated that he did all this purposely while fully understanding what he was doing in the first place. But no, Yellowfang had to protect him because he supposedly quote-unquote, love too much. Mabel Shade, on the other hand, literally got temporary insanity because of all the grief and trauma she had to go suffer through, forcing her to not fully be aware or control of her actions, but yet she was the one sent to the Dark Forest, not Ashford. Well, if that isn't irrationally unfair, I... I honestly don't know what is. Now, second, we have... Rainflower. The reason I say Rainflower deserves to go to the Dark Forest is she is the second cat that is tied with Litter Stripe for being the number one worst word cat mother in the entire book series. For one, her superficial and heartlessly judgmental outlook on a cat's appearance is just appalling, to say the least. But I'll give you some examples first before I start ranting. Before Crooked Star was injured when he was known as Storm Pit, his mother constantly praised his bravery and handsome appearance, leading to him becoming more risk-taker and causing him to get his own injury of twisting his jaw permanently out of place. Rainflower was so shocked by his injuries, injured appearance, and not wanting to blame herself for the injury, started mistreating, degrading, and completely ignoring Stormkit for having a different outward appearance. She felt that with his new injury, Stormkit didn't deserve to be any son of hers, as she would state. Literally shunning Stormkit and pushing him aside while she purposely cared and favored her other kit, Oak Kit, right in front of Stormkit's face. She even cruelly, just to mock his injury, decided to change his name to Crooked Kit and literally ruined her entire relationship with her mate to continue mistreating Stormkit, or Crooked Kit at the time. She then, out of on out, she then on out always refused to even acknowledge her his to acknowledge Stormkit's accom well, crooked crooked star's accomplishments and hard work. Just because she couldn't accept Crooked Star for after his injury, she refused and she allowed it to become a barrier of what was once their bond. A mother and son bond demolished by constant cruelty and judgment, which is sad to say the least, and depressing. Making Crooked Star 
always feel worthless and never good enough to the point where he would literally do anything to make his mom proud of him, which sadly ended up in her still not accepting him no matter what he did. That is not what a good mother should ever do to a kid or kit. And honestly, Crooked Star deserved a far better mother, mother than the stupid, heartless, selfish, judgmental, and degrading rain flower. Now, the number one character that I feel deser deserved to go to the Dark Forest out of every other character is Stinking Clear Sky. From the Dawn of the Clan series, of course. I mean, we... We all had to know that Clear Sky would make it here on this list. Plus, in my opinion, he was the absolute worst character that I ever hated that much. This much out of all the video games I've played and all the books I've read my entire life. Which is saying much since I'm such a bookworm and geek. <laughs> I could honestly write an entire book about why I hate Clear Sky and why he should have gone to the Dark Forest. But for time's sake, I'll just shorten it up. Anywho, let's start off with his idiotic personality. He's a complete, unfriendly flirt who couldn't respect his mates or be loyal to his kin if his life depended on it. Well, um, at least until the end of the book series. He's irrational, bloodthirsty, vicious, egotistical, narcissistic, impulsive, judgmental, harsh, a complete airhead, controlling, heartless jerk. Pardon my language. For one, he literally kicked out his younger brother, Jagged Rock, because of his accidental injury, forcing him to literally face the world all on, slow, all, alone, all on his own and completely injured, unable to take fully take care of himself. Second, he immediately went full-on controlling dictator mode which he led, when he led his new little group of cats, pushing away the other cats and his own brother, Greywing, Whenever they needed help, unless his own quotation marks clan was in danger. Third, he literally killed multiple cats to try and steal as much territory as possible and showed no care or concern for his clan mates, just wanting to push them aside or use them for his own benefits. Fourth, he attacked the other group of cats where his own brother lived, threatening to kill any cat who went in his way. And lastly, he abandoned and mistreated and used his and Storm's kit constantly to the point where the relationship was beyond fixable. And that's just half of the things he did. I'm not even going to start because now I'm going to get all ranty and upset. And No, no. I think I explained enough. I don't want to seem rude or disrespectful. But, um, thank you guys if you watch until the end of, end of the video. I truly appreciate all the support and for you taking your time to actually watch one of my kind of, um, top five series with commentation and rants. <laughs> um, if you want me to continue more top ten lists or rants this way um just comment down below and i'd love to hear your opinions or if you guys have any other like ships or characters etc that you think i should rant about next feel free to always ask in the comments below for hearing your guys hearing your guys opinion truly means a lot to me because this channel wouldn't be half as good as it is now if it wasn't for you all so thank you all so sincerely much and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day filled with endless happiness. Bye, everyone. Now.